Come on. What is up YouTube and welcome to another Crib Zone Excursion. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Can you tell this is an external mic? Welcome to another Crib Zone Excursion. And in this one, you guys know who that is right there. That is the homie Nismo. I do have a previous video on him, so if you guys haven't seen him, make sure you check it out. I'll be sure to post these videos under the cock a teal playlist. Yeah, you stretch those wings, dog. I will be going over some really important things for anybody that's interested in purchasing a cockatiel or for anybody that already owns a cockatiel and would just like to watch this video, make sure you stick around. A very big controversial topic about birds is whether or not one should clip their wings. If you don't know what wing clipping is, the wings that are sticking out the most are known as their flight feathers. It's a known thing for people to clip wings in order to prevent your bird from flying. When you do clip their wings, they can still soar but they can't they can't take off which is the biggest reason why someone would clip a bird's wings I personally think that wing clipping is completely fine when you first buy your bird the reason for that is you want your bird to depend on you if your bird can't fly everywhere and you take your bird wherever he would want to go your bird will start depending on you and it'll be much easier for them to get accustomed to you another big reason you would clip your bird's wings is for them not to get injured. Birds love mirrors, birds love windows. If your bird is flying all around the house like a complete savage trying to fly away from child support, they will get injured. That's another reason someone would clip a bird's wings. Yep, just like that. He's flying away from child support. This reminds me when my ex called me this one time saying that the kid was mine. I immediately refused and changed numbers. Now that's, oh sh That right there is a reason why I no longer clip his wings. Taking a bird's ability to fly is unethical, I would say. What would I compare that to? It would be like taking cheese away from the rat. Very unethical. But like I said, there are reasons why someone should clip wings. If you've owned your bird for quite some time, don't clip their wings. I haven't clipped this dude's wings in a really long time, and I'm not planning to ever clip his wings. There was times where he was acting completely rebellious and just flying everywhere. I've learned to just accept the fact that he does not care for child support. On Ismo. That's as far as the wing clipping. There's reasons to do it. There's reasons not to do it. It's up to you whether or not you're going to clip your bird's wings. Just understand that taking the ability of a bird to fly is pretty messed up since that's what they're made to do. Fly. Hello. Look at this little patch of feathers in the back. <laughs> Ooh, Nismo. Now I'm gonna go over exactly what you should do when you do purchase your first bird. Of course, you already need your cage set up. Everything needs to be set up for your bird for when he does come home. As soon as your bird comes home, don't do anything. Leave them in the cage. Leave them in their cage for around two weeks. You want them to get accustomed to their cage. For the first week, try and just stay at a close range to your bird, but don't approach your bird, except for when you feed your bird and change their water. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is start talking to your bird. You could either do this by reading to your bird or just talking to them. It's really important your bird gets accustomed to your voice or else whenever you do talk, they will panic and fly away. This dude always trips out over this window right here, but he does love a good mirror. Look at him, you bastard. Oh my gosh. Oh, go poop. Wow. After you're done talking to your bird like a psycho, the next thing you want to do is allow your bird to come out. This is where the wing trimming comes in really handy. If your bird does not have their wings clipped, as soon as you let them out, they will try and fly everywhere. That's where things can get really dangerous and your bird can get injured. This is why I recommend you to clip your bird's wings when you first get your bird. You want to research how to clip wings because they actually do have bones in their wings. It reaches to about halfway to the wing. So make sure you look up videos on how to clip a bird's wings before you go and do it. Once your bird's wings are clipped and you open the door, allowing them to come out, let them explore. Birds are extremely, extremely curious animals. 
allow them to explore the area you're keeping them around. Since they're so curious, you want to make sure your bird has significant toys in their cage. There's people that say that this cage is small for Nismo. This is a perfect size for one bird. Oh my gosh, so feisty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh God. Yep, there he goes again. Look at him, dude. Look how majestic that, it sounds like a freaking attacking pigeon. If you guys are new to birds, birds actually have their ears on the side of their head. The red cheeks, that's where his ears are. You could probably tell his nose, it's on top of his beak. Nismo's nails and his beak are extremely sharp. The best way to unsharpen their beak and their nails is to buy a cuddle bone. It also offers some really nice protein for your bird. This dude needs a cuddle bone and a cuddle partner, huh? Nismo, you need a cuddle, bitch. I know you guys do love seeing the homie Nismo. There is a lot of bird lovers out in this world. I'm gonna try and make a lot more videos for you guys. Trying to help out all the people looking for a bird as a pet. A bird is an awesome pet to own. I've owned birds for as long as I was able to afford a bird. I am planning to buy the homie Nismo a female. I have two options on what my next bird will be. I could either buy him a female. The end result of that will be him pretty much smashing smashing every night and me hoping for some babies or the other option I could buy an, a male Indian ringneck and they could be awesome buddies. I've always been really attracted to the Indian ringneck. If you guys don't know about the Indian ringneck, they come in a couple different color variations. They come in green, blue, white, purple, I think that's blue, gray, and yellow. Six color variations. Those type of birds can actually learn how to talk. I've always wanted a talking bird. I would teach them the funniest slogans I would be like child support and as soon as he would say that Nismo would trip out it seems as if Nismo is a wee bit tired since he's closing his eyes either tired or he's bored like I mentioned in my past video he was hand tamed if you're looking to buy a hand tamed bird versus a non hand tamed bird I actually did own a non tamed cockatiel before this dude with time with patience you could tame a non tamed bird but the only difference I will tell you this is that non tamed birds will most likely not allow you to pet them. The homie Nismo loves being pet. Where would you purchase a hand tamed bird? Pet stores do sell hand tamed, but of course a breeder is always the best option to go if you're looking to buy a bird. Pet stores typically will not show love to their birds. Trust me, when you first get your bird, it's best to start everything slow. You never want to rush. You're hopefully going to have the bird for a really long time. So don't rush things. Don't traumatize your bird. Take it slow. What's up, dog? You're not a dog. What's up, bird? This dude loves to get kissed on. Oh, yeah, you're so beautiful. I do believe he's in the pied cockatiel. Not cream pied, just the pie. As far as the harness training, if you guys do remember, I did buy him a harness. I haven't been keeping up with the harness training. That's something I need to work on. Taking this dude outside would be hella funny. I would take him inside stores. Really hope those damn service dog activists come at me. He always wants to fly to mirrors. If you want to teach your bird how to fly, it's pretty easy. They're not going to want to fly in the beginning. Mm, yep, I saw that one coming. This video is all over the place. What does the homie Nismo eat? This isn't the food that's inside. Oh, look, you want some? You want some? This is the food I feed them. I just dump it into that container right there. Birds are extremely intelligent creatures and you need to keep their mind occupied. He's going to drop it. Don't drop it. You douche. The homie Nismo does know how to say hi. Stop moving. There you go. Good bird.
There is a saying, you eat as messy as a parrot. They're really messy eaters. They literally have no care for the world, so they just pluck away from the food. It's pretty easy to teach your bird how to say hi. After your bird knows how to step up to your finger, to teach them how to step up, all you do is put your finger to their chest. And if they still don't want to step up, hold a tree in front of your finger and they will step up. That's gonna go ahead and be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Peace. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat at KZE underscore production.